defended them, I thought, uh, pretty well. But both guys, uh, as you said, uh, they just got got away from this couple times and right? knocked a couple shots down. Um, as I told our guys, you know, going into this uh, to, to this game, you know, the most important thing was number one that we compete at a high level. I thought I thought we did that. Um, but again, we get to a you know, there's always a point of the game where we have uh, multiple breakdowns. Offensively, uh, we have poor execution, and it doesn't take, you know, it doesn't take, you know, many possessions for the game to be, you know, for the separation to go from, from two to ten. Um, and uh, you know, we were right there. Uh, we got ahead of nine point lead. I thought at that point, um, I knew that they would make a run at that point. Uh, it was just a matter of who we were in the storm at that point, um, and we just we didn't overcome it. We didn't respond very well to it. Particularly, uh, had a couple bad turnovers. The things that we need to get done against a team like this, uh, we felt to do tonight. We talked before the game that beside the big three, and I think you used Battier and Allen's name specifically. Yeah. Did did you lose them? Is that what you're saying? Yeah, we, we, we just had, um, I mean, we just had just breakdowns. I mean, uh, you know, in, in situations where we could have very easily switched and uh, they got a body over body in the we just didn't communicate it. Uh, two guys running at one guy, they throw back to the open guy. Um, it's not anything that we have not discussed, not anything that we have not uh, gone over, um, over and over and over and over. Just wanted to throw a shoot around. We, we you know, prior to them going out the court over again, uh, we just had a great time. That uh, the 13 0 run that they used to start the fourth quarter there, is that, is that again, was that something that they were doing? Or were you not doing? Uh, bad execution and, and, and bad defensively, uh, bad execution offensively, and defensively we had breakdowns. Okay. And that uh, that just compounded things at that, at that point. It seems like it started to take y'all a little longer to get into your sets. Was that where they denied the ball to where you wanted no, to go? Or you just, no, so? no, we were just, we were just not uh, getting into a game base. You know, we talked about getting into, getting into our our offense uh, at game pace, uh, and, and we didn't do that. A couple of times it did deny us, uh, but that's that's not a that's not an excuse to uh, not be able to still get into your get into your sets and, and run your offense. You know, we've done it for for three quarters, uh, and you know, four quarters went uh, they tightened up a little bit. And we didn't respond. To them. How can this team be at one point so good? Where I mean, you were down by ten, you guys come back with a big run, and then. You couldn't respond to the other one. Like, like, what's the difference? How, how's the ebb and flow? How do you change that? Well, you try to find out exactly, you know, what, you know, what it is. You know, we, we are a team at times. I think we, we've shown, uh, you know, we're playing, you know, we're playing good. We, you know, the ball's popping, and it, you know, we're, we're a good team. Uh, we, we just as good as anybody else. But when we get stagnant, we don't get into our offense quick. We don't set screens. Uh, that's when you start getting uh, uh, a little lack of days quick. Uh, you know, with things. Uh, you know, Miami's a good defensive team. You know, they're not going to let you just run your stuff. And, and particularly in the fourth quarter, when they start to tighten up, you got to do things even harder. And uh, that didn't happen.